I just flicked it all in my face. What? Oh crap, I didn't need this much. Hey! <gasps> a pound. <gasps> and I think it was more... <gasps> oh my god, did I just see lightning? There is a storm coming. This storm is no joke. But I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be testing some of your favorite products. So in my comment section on my favorites of 2021 videos, the drugstore one and the high-end one, I asked you guys for your favorite products and stuff that I need to try that I haven't tried already. And I've got loads of recommendations. If after watching this video, there is still stuff that I haven't tested in this and you think so, you need to try this, let me know down below. Also, I was lacking in a couple areas. No one really mentioned a highlighter and no one really mentioned lip products. Oh, and the sun's just gone behind that giant grey cloud. So if you guys have got any recommendations for any of those things, please let me know down below in the comments and we will just get into it. You guys are always so helpful by the way. I like to think that we help each other out. You guys recommend stuff to me, I recommend stuff to you. Something that did actually make me really happy is a lot of people said that some of my products were their favourites. Which I mean they might just be saying that because they're trying to be nice but honestly same. You know what, I'm actually going to zoom you all the way in for this one because the first product that I'm going to be trying, I am so excited for this. Also it's really fun to actually go into some shops and look for these makeup products products because I had not been makeup shopping in about two years because of COVID, but not for this. I got this from Beauty Bay. <laughs> this is the Pink Honey Original Super Hold Honey Glue for your eyebrows. I believe this just started out as a small business and then they ended up being so popular that Beauty Bay picked them up. Oh, does it smell of honey? Should we see? Not quite, but it smells sweet. It literally looks like a little jar of honey. It's got a hole in the middle. And what you do is you get the spoolie and you dip it in there. Kind of genius to have a little hole in the middle, but it says it's got little directions. Apply water to your honey dipper, then place the dipper inside the hole within your honey pot. Apply pressure and swirl until your honey dipper is coated and the product is a sticky paste like consistently. Consistently, consistency. Brush the hairs in the direction you would like them to set in. Follow along with your finger, pressing down the hairs to secure them in place. Once secured, take a wipe and clean around the area, removing any excess products so you have a clean canvas for your base makeup. This product is designed to be used before any other face makeup. I actually remembered this time. Oh, I just flicked it all in my face. Oh, that went in my eyes and it actually stinks. Do not get this in your eyes. Let's see. I think I've actually made it too wet because it's supposed to be a sticky paste-like consistency. Oh my. Oh, I'm gonna like fully coat my brows in it and then brush them up. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think it's basically like effectively just brow soap because it's getting a bit sudsy <laughs> on my face. <laughs> Should I just leave them like this? I can definitely feel them sort of drying down. Don't worry, I'm not actually going to leave them like this. <laughs> oh my God, my eyebrow hairs are really long. <laughs> okay, yeah, this one's pretty much dry. Wow, look at that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Since when were my eyebrow hairs this long? Okay, then let's take the spoolie. <laughs> and make them look a bit more normal. Maybe I should have actually trimmed my eyebrows before this video because now I just feel like <laughs> I can't get them into the right sort of shape. Wow, it's very sticky though. Like it's definitely done the job. Even though it sort of went on a little bit white, after I smoothed it down, it hasn't left any like crusty looking bits. It's kind of just like brow soap, but in a convenient pot with a hole in the middle so you can actually travel with it. Like that's a very smart idea. I'm just taking a bit of micellar water on a cloth. It's kind of hard to do this while actually keeping the shape of your eyebrows. I've actually seen Robert talk about this before. Robert Welsh, I know that he really likes this brand actually. That was the main thing for brows that I saw people recommending. While I was in Boots, I did actually buy another one of the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pens in Ash Brown because I am so scared they're gonna discontinue this and I don't actually know what I'd do without it. Um, And I'm just gonna add a bit more color to my eyebrows. Anyone have any brow pen recommendations? I saw somebody recommending the Essence brow pen, but they didn't have it in my local Wilco. But in my opinion, this is the absolute best one that I've tried. I've tried the ABH one, which is pretty nice, but this NYX one is honestly just better. For my primer, I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty Always an optimist, illuminating primer, because a lot of people actually mentioned in my Rare Beauty video that apparently this primer is supposed to be better than the other one. And I didn't try this one yet. I got a little sample of it. So I'm gonna give this a go. By the way, I did just order the Rare Beauty. Ooh, it looks very shimmery. I just ordered the Rare Beauty powder and contour sticks. I cannot wait till those arrive. Oh wow, yeah, this has got a sort of like pearlescent finish. I did just have like a bit of moisturizer on my face already. 
the only thing I hate about doing my eyebrows first is that I feel like I then get my primer, my foundation, my concealer, I get everything in them. It's so hard to avoid them without sort of like flattening them back down again and without ending up with like a line around your eyebrows. Do you know what I mean? I do actually have like a couple dry patches like on either side of my face here and then a tiny bit up here on my forehead. So I'm just gonna put a little bit extra there. I can see why people with dry skin like this. It's definitely very glowy. It feels really moisturizing. It kind of just feels like a moisturizer and it's definitely got some sort of like glowiness in it. My skin looks amazing actually. If you've got oily skin though, you're not gonna like this because it feels quite sort of like slippery, but it feels really nice. It feels very hydrating. Another moisturizing recommendation that I got is the number seven Hydra Luminous Moisturizing Foundation. A couple of people mentioned this and it says all day hydration, medium coverage, SPF 15. I really like the number seven, I think it's called the all in one foundation. I might be completely wrong actually. I can't really remember what it's called, but the other number seven foundation in the squeezy tube. By the way, I'm sorry if you can hear the wind, it's actually your wild me just like <laughs> happily sitting here filming away while there's just like a hundred mile winds outside 100 mile an hour i got the shade warm ivory they didn't have that many shades of this okay let's see what this is like seems like a pretty good color match oh that does have really nice coverage actually i thought it would maybe be a bit of a thinner coverage let's try the other side with a brush both sides are looking nice i think i prefer the side with the sponge actually you know what it's not as glowy as i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be really really glowy but it does definitely feel hydrating and it looks really nice that's got a really nice finish try and avoid the eyebrows it's actually got more coverage than i was expecting it's blended really nicely it looks really smooth <laughs> i've missed a bit on my forehead Thank you to whoever recommended this. I really like it. One of the concealers that quite a few people recommended was the Nude Sticks Concealer. And you know what? I've actually tried this before in a video. I remember seeing it on TikTok. I think it was Michaela that spoke about this. But I remember at the time trying it and not being like completely blown away. But I've seen quite a lot of people since saying that this is one of the best concealers. So I'm gonna try it again and we'll see if I like it any better this time. I remember thinking it was quite good, but it just, I didn't think it was as good as people were sort of making it out to be. Although, wow, I really like the doe foot. I think I've got the shade two. Okay, let's do this much for now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can't actually remember what I didn't, can't actually really remember what I thought of this the first time, but this second time that I'm using it, you know what, maybe it was the foundation that I tested with it before. I don't know because this is looking so smooth. Yeah, what the heck? That's really nice. Let me just turn down the brightness. Yeah, what the hell? I really like it. I really like that. Maybe I actually tested it around the time that my skin was really, really dry around my eyes. That could have been why, because it's definitely more of like a matte concealer. It's not super hydrating, but it looks really smooth, especially on the under eyes. I feel like it looks the best on my under eyes. I like. We move on to bronzer. A lot of people suggested that I try the Revolution Eye Bright Concealer, which I actually really like the Eye Bright Concealer when I'm using it as a regular concealer, but because they do a lot of shades of this, some people suggested getting a shade that is a bit darker and use it as like a contour shade. I couldn't really tell from online, so I got the shades Deep Caramel and Deep Tan. Let's see what deep tan. Here it comes. Deep tan one looks fine. And actually that might be the best color. We will try deep caramel again. Yeah, that one's still a little bit sort of oily. I don't really know if you can sort of see how strange. Like the consistency isn't quite the same. I'm gonna try one on each side. So let's do deep tan on this side. And deep caramel on this side. See, I feel like this one is more similar to the shade of the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it might be more pigmented, so maybe it will be too dark. Let's see. Oh crap, yeah, oh crap. I didn't need this much. I really did not need this much. Yeah, what was I thinking? Why did I put this much on my face? Me forgetting that it's a concealer and not a contour product. Hello. I know. Oh. I know. Pinky wants to see you. Hey, Pinky. Oh, hello. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh, look at that. You know what, guys? I really messed that up, didn't I? I put on way too much. I'm now gonna have to go back in with some concealer, I think. But you know what? I think this side is actually a better color. I just needed to use like one dot because this one's almost a bit too warm, I think. Let's try a bit of this down my nose, but I'm literally just taking a tiny bit like that and then a dot there. Okay, yeah, deep caramel is definitely a winner. 
this side was the better colour. I just put too much of it on. You need to use it very sparingly. Then for blush, another Revolution product. So many people, when I asked for recommendations of cream blushes, said the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blushes. I got the shade Fake the Flush, which is a very bright sort of coral. And then I also got Flushing for You, but this one looks quite dark. Okay, it definitely doesn't come out as dark as in the tube. And dare I say it, this one might actually be a bit too bright. Even though it's a peachy shade, which I usually love, definitely shears out. Um, I'm gonna go for this one. And if it's too bright, I will add some of the other one. How much do I need? Is that too much? Is that enough? Okay, thank God. It does not go on as bright as the tube. I feel like that's just giving me a little bit of colour. I like it. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be though. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe I would like it to be a tiny bit more pigmented, but then I guess I did put on a very small amount. So let's try that again on this side. <gasps> oh my God, I really like that. That is such a nice colour. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I really like it. I really like it. We're just gonna put a bit on my knees. Oh, I kind of wish that I'd done one color on each cheek. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna add a bit more of this other color over the top because I'm gonna powder down anyway. I'll probably lose some of the color. And I feel, feel like these will mix really nicely together, actually, these shades. A bit more of a pinky one and a bit more of a peachy one. I think my base looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. Thanks guys. Good recommendations. So many people recommended the e.l.f. Halo, Halo Glow setting powder. I'm a little bit scared about this if it's going to be anything similar to the Revolution one that I tried the other week that was like a highlighter because it kind of looks like it but so many people said I don't normally like powder but I love this one. It had so many people raving about it. Oh Peel off and turn the dial. I love powders that do this where you can actually like close the lid It is hard to peel off these sticky labels when you've got nails Oh, well that would be because I it was under the plastic and I needed to turn it. Let's take some on my brush I actually do my powder a bit differently these days I sort of bake a bit around my nose and then use like a lot of powder under my cheekbone to almost like sculpt my face out a bit more it really works. I sort of then use what's left on my brush and the extra on my face to go over everything. Yeah, I'm kind of confused because in the pot I thought it was, it looked like it might be a bit shimmery. It's not really shimmery, is it? I guess it has a tiny bit of glowiness in it. Just a little bit, like not really a lot. I think it's pretty nice, but I think I definitely put too much under my eyes, like especially under this eye. This eye feels a little bit dry and that's why I put like tons of the powder. So I don't think I needed as much. I do quite like it, but I wasn't, that's not what I was expecting it to be like. It's definitely more matte than I was expecting, but that's probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's made me look matte, but not like drier than the Sahara matte. I don't have a powder bronzer. I think because I'd specifically asked in the video for recommendations for cream bronzers and blushes, most people were just giving cream bronzers and blush recommendations. Is there a powder bronzer that I need to try? Please let me know down below. I did see somebody mention the Primark powder blushes. This is a powder blush. They really like the Primark ones because they're really pigmented. And I have tried Primark makeup before, but I did actually get rid of my Primark blushes. So this is one of the more recent ones. They have repackaged them. They've got this sort of like pattern on them. I got the shade Secrecy. It was one pound, a pound. One sec, let me just quickly add a little bit of a different bronzer. Let's go in with the Primark blush. From what I remember, they're actually quite pigmented. So you have gotta be a bit careful with them. Oh, does it have a bit of glow in it? I thought it was just gonna be matte, but it definitely has a tiny bit of glow, I think. It's actually better than I remember. They used to be quite chalky, but this one's got a bit of a glow to it. I feel like it's sticking to my face a bit better. That's definitely nicer than the Primark blush that I've tried in the past. For a pound, like I mentioned at the start, I didn't really get any recommendations for highlighters, which is quite funny because obviously highlighter used to be my thing and everyone used to talk about it. I feel like these days people don't go as crazy for highlighters. It's more about like blush. But when I was shopping in Beauty Bay, I saw this one and it's by the brand called Nabla. Nabla. And I just thought it looked stunning. I've never seen anyone mention these. This is the Skin skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder and I got the shade ozone and it had really good reviews so I'm gonna go off the recommendation for beauty bay for this one I'm actually gonna start on my nose oh my god why have I never seen anyone speak about this? It actually has not added a single bit of texture. It's so thin. You know some highlighters look quite chunky and it looks like a layer on your skin. This just looks like it's melted in with the rest of my foundation. Oh my God, that is so stunning. 
Well, here's a recommendation from me to you because honestly, it looks like the effect of a liquid highlighter, but it's not liquid, it's powder. But it gives that sort of like dewiness. Do you know what? Do you see? You can see that. I actually think I might have just discovered a new favorite highlighter. As if I needed any more. But like that is beautiful. What the hell? Okay, so for eyeshadow, I had to ask you guys for this on Instagram. Because like I said, on my YouTube video, no one recommended an eyeshadow palette. Everyone was just like, I love your super spice palette. And I'm like, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. But I need a new thing to try. There were two palettes in particular that came up the most. The first one was the Natasha Denona, I think it's called the Golden Palette, but that palette I'm pretty sure has been discontinued because I could not find it anywhere. So I don't know if it's coming back, I don't know if it has been discontinued, but the second palette that I was actually quite surprised at was the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I've tried a couple of Huda Beauty palettes in the past and they have been pretty nice. I actually have used one of the shades of this in a TikTok recently. The rest of the shades look so pretty. Those blue shades at the top, like there's a full on blue glitter one, the shade Mercury and Ultraviolet, the purple. They're like duochrome and then this one Galaxy. Okay, that glitter shade is stunning, but it feels like it might need a bit of glitter glue or something. <gasps> That's actual glitter, like fine glitter. Do you see this? I actually feel like the house is about to blow down. <laughs> Oh wow, that like goldeny, champagne-y, rose goldy color. Sorry, I know it's a bit odd to swatch on the palm of my hand, but <gasps> let's do it guys. Okay, let's take this one called Haze. I'm gonna put that, actually I didn't need such a tiny brush because I really want to pack this one on. I don't actually know what I'm doing with this look. Maybe I should have thought of this before I just started putting it on. I know I want to do something blue, but I'm not quite sure what. This brush is by Unicorn Cosmetics, by the way. It was, it's the UC13 brush. It's got the little cherubs on it. I don't actually know if these brushes are still available, but this is a really good, like, tiny little brush. What am I doing with this look? Because I almost feel like I need a darker blue, but there's a shimmery darker blue, and then, like, a dark purple. I kind of feel like before I go any further with this and get rid of, like, the stickiness at the front of my eye, I think I want to take a shimmer on there. And I should have used the matte blue to, like, blend out the shimmer. But as always, trust the process, strap in, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to take the shade Mercury, which is this one, because it just looks absolutely bloody stunning. And, oh my god, I should have just packed this all over my eye and then blended it out with the other shade. You guys, it looks purple in the middle of my lid, but then blue. Oh! Yeah, I should have... <sighs> I'm not sure that's now gonna layer over the top of the blue eyeshadow. So one sec, I'm just gonna add a bit more of that sticky primer. It's all right guys, we'll fix it. Yeah, okay, this is where I wanna go with the look. I wanna put this everywhere. I mean, I can already see why so many people like this. So that is my starting point. I'm then gonna go in with the turquoise just around the edges. This this whole palette actually gives me very like Euphoria kind of vibes. And honestly, at the moment, I think Euphoria just has a bit of a chokehold on the makeup world. <laughs> Mostly because their makeup artist is so incredible. What I'm actually gonna do next is take this very pale peach color. Guys, even the gold sort of colors in here, there's like a duochrome pinky gold at the bottom called Frazzled. There's a gold glitch here supernova this one down here and then also cosmic i'm just gonna swatch all the shimmers because they honestly feel unbelievable okay you guys were not kidding when you said that this was an amazing palette like look at those shimmers i just want to take this like a little bit above the turquoise to sort of like blend it out even more you know what i'm just gonna pack on some more of this mercury shade with my finger <gasps> i'm gonna take the shade nebula which is the pressed glitter I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of first and see how it goes on just by itself without a sort of like glitter primer. The answer is pretty nicely, you know? But has that kind of taken away from the other blue shade? Let me just blend this all the way up here. I literally just took a little bit on my finger and a little bit goes a long way. This look is a bit messy, but I kind of love it at the same time. Yeah, I'm in love with this palette. I'm just gonna take a little bit under my Love an ash line. Yeah, I definitely do have a bit of fallout on my face, but that was definitely to be expected using glitter. On my inner corners, I'm gonna take 
Galaxy, which is this one. Oh, it is quite a rose gold. Actually, I'm gonna take Super Moon instead. This palette is just absolutely stunning. Put a bit of that up here on the brow bone. A lot of you guys recommended the Fenty Fly Liner. This one is in Big Truffle, but brown liner is not really gonna go with this look, is it? I have got such an urge to stick more crystals on my eyes right now, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Oh my God, and it's, the brush is so flexible. Oh, I really do want to use it. Maybe I could put the liner on and then go over it with one of the shimmers to turn it into like a different shade. It's very, very liquidy. I just sort of went for it. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's a very liquidy liner. Like it takes a while to dry. It is a beautiful brown color though. I'm actually finding it a little bit tricky to get like a really precise point with it because the brush is almost like a little bit too flexible. But what I am gonna do this might not work out and it might look a bit weird, but I just want to play. I just love playing with makeup recently. This might end up looking a bit odd, but... I think I'm going to go over it with one of the blue shimmers. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep it brown because I just tried putting a bit of the eyeshadow over it and it looked really weird. But maybe now this looks really weird. I don't know. I was just having a bit of fun. Not the end of the world. Overall, I love the liner and I love this palette so many people recommended the essence lash princess mascara and a lot of people said the one with the purple writing i've tried the one with the turquoisey green like mint colored writing and i really like that one but i've never tried this one i hope i got the right one it's the essence lash princess curl and volume mascara is this pink or is this purple the brush looks like this i feel like maybe i've bought the wrong one i think i bought the wrong one because this just isn't really doing a whole lot for me I mean, it's all right. I'm actually a bit scared. Actually, you know what? This is pretty decent. Now that I've layered it a bit, it is pretty good. But I don't, I think the mint coloured one is better. You know what? It's, it's not bad. It's pretty decent, actually. But like my face is starting to get oily already. Actually, it could be because I've got shimmer eyeshadow that sort of like fell down onto here. Quite a few people mentioned Vive. One person said anything from Vive. Their lipsticks, their lip liners, their blushes, everything. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to try the new colours of the Vive lipsticks because I have tried Vive lipsticks in the past and I do really like them. But they have some new shades which they came out with for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to go with Peached for the liner. If it's a bit light, I might add a bit of Aphrodite. Oh, that colour. I thought it might be too peach, but it's actually really nice. But again, I didn't get a whole lot of recommendations for lip products if there are any lip products that i need to try let me know i've probably tried them to be honest like i've tried so many lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners that's probably why like i've probably tried them already but i'm gonna try the peach peach pinch lipstick which i think is like the matching color to go with the liner but this does look a bit peachy yeah okay no they feel really nice but this is just a bit too much with the eyes i'm gonna take deity instead which is a slightly darker nude because this just looks a bit too 80s right now okay yeah stunning i think this look definitely needs some lashes so i'm just gonna stick some lashes on and i will be right back okay i finished off the eyes i used the quick flick modest one lashes i feel like you can see the lash band like a little bit but i just put a little bit of this in my waterline which is the makeup geek full spectrum eyeliner pencil in the shade mint just to finish off the eyes. I feel like they do look pretty cool. I don't really know where I was going with that liner, but overall it was mostly just like the eyeshadow palette that I really wanted to test and I'm so happy with it. Finally, for my setting spray, I was able to find the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Mist. This I thought was discontinued and then I walked into Superdrug and it was just there on the shelves. People recommended this to me ages ago and I think it was more... Oh, it has got such a nice fine mist. I think that's why people have suggested it because it's got a really nice fine mist. How long have I had a dog hair stuck to my lip? What I'm gonna do now with every mist that I try is take like the darkest shade in whatever palette I'm using because I wanna see if the mist actually sets or whether it just hydrates. Then I'm gonna spray it. My portable fan is still in my suitcase, which I have not unpacked from Iceland yet. By the way, if you didn't know, I have a vlog channel and me and James recently went to Iceland for my birthday just for a few days and I vlogged it. And the vlog is actually up on my channel as you're hopefully watching this video. Okay, I think it's fully dry. Let's take this. Mmm, pretty good. It's not 
like smudged everywhere, but some of the color has come up off on me. Cause I remember with the Rare Beauty one, it literally just like smeared it all over my arm. I think that's pretty good, you know? I think overall, those were some pretty good recommendations from you guys. I think my makeup looks really nice. Maybe this look is a little bit out there and we did have a couple complications along the way, but I will be using all of these products again. Bye. Thank you guys so much for all your recommendations. As always though, if you have any more, leave them down below. Right guys, I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys are all doing okay. I hope you survived the storm if you're in the UK because that was pretty crazy. I think it's calmed down a bit now. But I hope you guys are doing good. As always, if you don't follow my socials, I'm at Soph on Instagram, at Soph Does Life on Twitter and TikTok. And I'm posting quite a lot on TikTok at the moment and like my Instagram reels and stuff and I'm really enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.